going everyone? It's Liam Caddison here with another episode of iZombie. We're on episode number six of season four with the conclusion of this marking uh, the first half being done of season four. Um, I don't know where to feel in terms of where I would um, place season four so far based on um, the first half of the season because I have really enjoyed it but I do feel like I've um, really more gravitated towards um, season three a bit more so um, who knows overall season four's second half might have a really 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 massive incline um, not that it was uh, not that the first half of the season has been bad by any means but like I said I feel like I've um, gravitated towards season three more so at the moment so um and we are definitely in for a treat um for at least this episode and uh potentially the foreseeable future for this season because obviously we had mama leone's death um aka that sacrifice really that um she decided um to take and um Liv is definitely, uh, yeah, you could definitely see things have, have um, escalated. I mean, even if Chase was not really comfortable at carrying out um, Mama Leone's death, um, it is still something where you have Liv basically taking the reins, and um, this, has be, this has been a really, really big, um, I guess I would say, shot to the arm, really, for... Um, for Liv and um, any kind of hostilities towards uh, Fillmore Graves, because it has been a bit of a, a, a rocky journey, uh, especially since, the, of course, the announcement of a human zombie, um, you know, coexisting uh, in Seattle. So, um, and uh, yeah, the execution, I would say, of Mama Leone has definitely escalated things. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see what does happen now that, like I said, Liv has taken the reins, um, t uh, taken the position that Mama Leone had um, prior to her death. So, should be really, really exciting. So, that said, let's get into episode number six of season four for iZombie. Let's go. A change, one minor change. Everyone in the show who had the AIDS Smaller virus now stop. has the zombie virus. That's it. And I would like to think uh, an intelligent man would appreciate the metaphor. Y yeah, I think that's a bit controversial, personally, Look, but... You're in New York. Okay. I'm in Seattle. There is a militarized border wall and 10,000 zombies between you and my stage. Oof. Good luck stopping me. Well. Well, zombies. <laughs> Let me guess the thing that she ate from that's simulating the brains is has been poisoned. He just lost his dad. Now I get to tell him he lost his dog too. Oh no. It's obviously the bus scenario. Uh, dude, can you Especially with off? the bus driver being a zombie has been playing on her mind. Mama wanted so, to show the world how humans oh and zombies can You can't save the railroad. Mama was the railroad. It's that irreplaceable feat, really, isn't that? Hey, you need any help on a Schmidt case? Big yeah, shoes to literally fill, neighbor. to be fair. That he falls into ruin. Thanks. I am hungry. Any bus brains that won't have me chasing the dragon? <laughs> Let's see. We've got quite a few options, I guess, which is very, very... Um... Crude to say, but I'm not exactly wrong, I guess. Soon, or, uh, would you like to show yourself out? Yeah, I'm just tell him to piss Great. off. The churches have found us. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> the churches. Oh, but is he gonna. Oh, yeah. Sweden. Is this going to push things Apparently further in regards to and, uh, and, and Blaine and Angus? Because they, because he needs to off. know. Oh my goodness, here we go. Not quite as there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's no one at work I'd rather see than the <laughs> Not quite most as as Blake, but... most vigorous Dr. Ravi. And tell her how you feel. <laughs> she gives you a waiver for legal and an official declaration for This is going to be fun. Your heart. It 
means your love is She's real. killing it. And you do need that spa. Oh, is this the... Comfy? No. Okay, uh, side yeah. effect to the braid he's on. I hate the brain of a hero. Yeah. yeah. I better hide my china white. Unless you and your sandwich have more important plans. Where are you off to? I'll be saving the world. Ooh, yikes. That's a low blow. Whether she died in vain. And I say, hell no, she didn't. We save these people or we die trying. There's that compared. See, I think. Are she's... we good or do we need that in the lab? <laughs> See, um, she can fill those big shoes. Mom Leone got him back to his family. Oh, I asked Mom oh, if I oh. could. I know how to pull this off. Get everyone here by 4 p.m. I need to go get props and costumes. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued where this is gonna go. Oh, you're here, thank God. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, I'm here and I'm just here, but heroin brain? Robbie. Is he es he's escaped. Went through the, through the window, yeah. Well, this is fun. Stupid junkie. What? Heroin. You don't have to talk to yourself, no. though. Are you sure? With you. I'm sure. This is kind of awkward for Blade to see. Uh, <laughs> but if I could just get a little bit of heroin. I could go on stake out, too. Don't take that the wrong way. All the best, but it's not my scene. And mm. I'm looking for something real. Yeah, of course, I get it. We don't open relationships. Oh, I will. <laughs> Can be very, very I tricky to deal with, but oh. Oh, this is this. I, I just worry about the direction this is going to go for both Dale and Clive. And somehow they always manage to hop on trains just like. We have vision. a vision! Oh, baby. Find that dog. Oh! <sighs> Lead them two back together, kissing. I saw the dog. Yeah. I know where he is. Okay. Oh. Tough. Think pit bull? Not pit bull. <laughs> this, this, this is your plan. Look, I'm not oh, risking my goodness. life with some theater class bull. Cops! Get down! These are not cops. Lesson number one. Have them on their toes. If you believe it, the audience believes it. <laughs> uh, uh, do what we say, do, do what we say and you won't get- Get on your knees, fool! Baron is blowing you off the stage right now, Stan, and you're just letting it happen. He's going off script. <laughs> Screw the lines, just get the meaning Improv! Yeah. Yes, and? You sons of bitches better give us your keys, or your brains are zombie paste! I like it! Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, you hate women? Lady, protocol says... No, that... kiss my ass with your friggin' protocol, ah! okay? Love her. It's all going to perfection. I'm sorry to bother you. <laughs> Can I use your phone? I was out on a date with this guy, and he pulled over into a car park, and he wanted me to... Oh, that oh, gosh, um, Live! I'm live! Like people we're kind of not allowed to live. He threw me out of the car. And... I'll remember. Who were you? Elves have a word for movie? I use the word for story, but so who were you? An elf! I knew it. I love the elves. With uh, Galadriel or Elrond? Yes! Are you in the of our fields? Oh my god. She's... <laughs> you have to roll with it. You'll have to roll with it, Liv. What's that? Oh no. You didn't get one of these? No. Yeah, I uh, came in last week. Boom! Jerry got one. There you go! Do you, uh... <clears throat> Want to see something? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Mm. I gotta 
I'm gonna get that. <gasps> yeah. This guy, well, he was gonna have the best night, but now. That's it though, like he's recording the best part, hope and life and... Nice work, Renegade. Everything positive comes about. Because Liv has given hope. Hey, hey get him, man. But, but there's one more step for him to be fully better. Yes! Mario, we tried everything, they won't leave. Raise your hand if you can afford to eat here. Not a shot. Guys! He's got a Christopher Eccleston get up on from the Ninth Doctor. You heard the man! Am I wrong? Skedaddle! And Blaine's worked for it. My boy's got grit. Nothing keeps us McDonough's down. Not even a block of cement. The well gives shape to the water. The water gives life to the well. Like the bubble, I am born to rise. So oh my goodness, just yeah, this group. That's not creepy. I forgive you. You forgive me. Oh shit, after what Blaine's gone through with you. You forgive me. I will kill you. I will kill you. I will kill you. I will make it hurt. Okay. So you keep smiling. You keep smiling, you child abuse yourself a bit. Fuck. A grandmother with the first signs of Alzheimer's. Every person here needs us. They but all deserve help. Only and I decide who lives and whose story ends. A handful. I wanted to help the living. I wanted in. Well, I'm in it now. Very difficult making that choice though, isn't it? Like who lives, who dies. Yeah. Oh boy, but it is getting very, very tasty. I mean, not just um, for the um, prospect of Liv now um, being, I guess, um, deep with these, uh, with the coyotes and um, helping fill the reins of, of um, Mama Leone, but also we, that intense bit with Angus and um, Blaine was really, really... Um, it's, like, he had the last laugh, really. Um, and then, obviously, Angus got himself out, and um, he's really, yeah, rained on his, uh, on Blaine's parade there. So, especially with that, like, there is such, there is such a low blow to him saying, I forgive you, when, yeah, he put Blaine through hell, so... Whee. There are some interesting things that we can really, <clears throat> really, really see in regards to what Liv is doing because, um, for me, this whole situation, um, filling in for Mama Leone and, um, what she's doing with, uh, the people, of course, and, uh, even, uh, turning some into zombies, it's not a situation where it's black and white, in my opinion. Um, what she's doing has some... Um, you know, um, heroism and some admiration, but also what she's doing, in my opinion, is she might be call she might be causing something that will have in um, the long run repercussions, and there will be repercussions. So, I mean, that video where Liv um, is scratching the people is going to be pretty, pretty damning once that gets out there, because, let's face it, Will, um, they, they've set things up in terms of, um, live scratching people, and obviously that is a punishable, um, by death situation, but, um, it's also a really, really, um, different way of, um, who she used to be, I would say, because, um, scratching, uh, people is, uh, not something that, um, she has condoned whatsoever, but with this situation, with people struggling and all of that, um, and really what Mama Leone uh, did, she she has kind of had to put her responsibilities to one side and focus on, on that mission uh, for the time being. So, um, yeah, like I said, there are going to be repercussions, 
Um, but also, this is not a black or white situation on is it good, is it bad? There are elements of both sides um, that we can consider in regards to what she is doing. So, um, obviously, I feel like Liv is going to, um, with the... Um, with where her story is going, she's going to be sentenced to death uh, by the season's end. How she's going to escape that um, remains to be seen, of course. So, yeah, but, uh, oy. but sometimes I, I feel like what this show does um, really, really well, uh, well, one of the things it does really, really well is sometimes it will have your main characters tread into murky water, uh, waters in regards to um, achieving, um, a certain, go like, with Major, with the whole Chaos Killer situation, um, even Ravi himself, um, has kind of had his, um, personality dwindle a bit, um, and has been, um, really painted, um, by other characters as somewhat selfish, etc. Sometimes these characters will, um, test their personalities, um, through various uh, means, and uh, it does create a very, very interesting um, scenario. So, yeah, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see where it uh, does go. But, you know, you saw um, families reuniting after being scratched and whatnot, and there is that little bit of hope. There is that little bit of, um, um, I don't know, compassion, really. Um, but at the same time, it does create a very, very... Um, uh, it, it creates a bit of a dilemma for um, where we will potentially go into the second half. So, yeah, um, it is a very, very, um, it is a very, very risky situation. Um, and one that does really, really te uh, test, I guess, the limits of um, sacrifice. Because um, if Liv gets found out, yeah. Um, she'll end up uh, the same way as Mama Leone, so and, and she's understanding the risks. But um, I feel like there is that uh, there is that nice uh, parallel with Ravi's story as well um, for this episode. Obviously, not as uh, I guess fundamental um, to what Liv is doing, um, but it's still very very impactful. Uh, and it was very very sad to see Ravi in that situation. Um, on the uh, junkie's uh, brain where you saw him having physical repercussions and um, he, he, he was just struggling um, really for the majority of this episode but um, he did it for a reason um, he did it just to get that little bit of victory Peyton was feeling completely uh, defeated um, one little ounce of of um, hope and victory was um, what um was really needed and uh, ravi was willing to uh, put himself through that pain really and it was really really well acted because you could really um absorb the struggle that ravi was going through so yeah but oh i really really thought that this was a pretty pretty great episode and um, probably one of my favorites this season um it was just really really great to see live um especially um uh, trying to um, have a group uh, get into the acting uh, bit, I guess. Um, especially in terms of being able to propel things um, with um, the main mission, of course, on uh, uh, capturing those humans. Um, and I thought the whole plan unraveling itself um, uh, during said um, capturing was was just really, really well done. Um, especially Liv and that poor guard who was so enthusiastic about um, Liv's role in Lord of the Rings. So, yeah, but... Um, it was it was really really great stuff all across the board. Like I said, with Ravi and his situation as well, um, trying to just recover a, a dog, um, even it was just um, you know, really really um, well done in terms of um, not just seeing well, not just revisiting Ravi's situation in regards to um his part zombie uh, part time zombie gig, I guess, um, but also um, rebridging things with him and Peyton, um, so. Um, yeah, and, and, and Peyton was there to absorb, really, that sacrifice that Ravi was, uh, putting himself through, so, um, and that's the thing, he, like, obviously with, um, Peyton, Ravi does have, um, certain feelings for her, but 
I think he sympathized um, with how much Peyton needed um, this win. Um, she even asked Liv if she uh, if she could, and once she found out what the brains were, it was like, no, 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 we're not doing that. So, um, yeah, and I was really, really worried we'd see Liv struggle, but it was Ravi who was struggling, um, obviously, with um, the heroin uh, brain that he was on, so... Um, yeah, he wanted to give, uh, he understood that Peyton was wanting a little bit of a victory and uh, decided to take that plunge, really. So it was just a really, really, um, it was just a really, really heartfelt and amazing um, situation because of the fact, uh, amazing in terms of an acting uh, for because of the fact that, like I said, you saw that struggle and it was really killing you, really, um, seeing um, that pain that Ravi was going through. So, um, yeah, well done in terms of uh, that performance. But, um, yeah, it was just really, really great stuff. Um, so, yeah, um, there was some nice, uh, nice bits of humour with the whole acting presence, but also there was that all um, conflicting situation in regards to um, live rescuing those uh, humans because of the fact that this is definitely going to have major ramifications, and it's already uh, we're already seeing little bits and pieces of that in regards to what was it three hundred names, um, and she can only save three, uh, and you've got a lot of people who I mean you even saw that um elderly guy who um had a certain illness, and um there is like I said. With this scenario, it's not a black and white situation. It is very beneficial for those who are struggling um, from a um, uh, from an illness, etc. And this is their chance to to um, finally be cut from those ties. But also, uh, it's going to get to the point where Seattle is going to be. Um, it, it's going to be uh, very, very detrimental in the long run for for Seattle. So. Yeah, but it was a really, really great episode. Um, like I said, it was um, pretty, pretty fun uh, to watch uh, certain bits and pieces, but also um, really, really powerful. Um, and yeah, there was even Clive as well, who was going through his own struggles. Um, he, uh, it's, it, it was just really, really weird as well. Like obviously, Liv is uh, busy filling in the renegade role, and um, uh, Clive wasn't really um, with her that much in this episode. Instead, he was dealing with his own issues in regards to uh, his relationship with Dale, and um, obviously uh, that's been established to be an open relationship. Um, but we're seeing the, um, you know, ramifications of, um, again, going back to the whole sacrifice bit, really, because um, Liv is risking um, a lot um to feel like she is um, living up to Mama Leone's uh, legacy with Ravi, uh, he was uh, he made that sacrifice to help Peyton out. But with um, obviously with um, with Clive, there's not so much of his life is on the line, but his relationship really, because um, we are seeing um, how much of a strain this open relationship scenario is starting to become. Um, you saw that officer that um, Liv was trying to pair, um, that Liv was trying to pair Clive up with, and um, how um, things looked to be going a certain direction, but um, she found out that Clive and Dale had a thing, not impressed about it, um, and uh, once the truth was out there, um, she was she was like, I could, I can't really do uh, an open relationship, which is fine because, um, you know, I can't say from experience, but obviously, um, it is a very, very um, big um, thing uh, being in an open relationship because of the um, complications it might have, like especially if you're. Um, if, if you have um, yourself as uh, a couple and you're looking for like um, option, well, I, I'd say um, options for a third, uh, for, a, for a second partner, I would say. Yeah, um, you're looking at um, opportunities for uh, another partner and they might not be on the same boat as you. Um, so we're seeing that and uh, we're seeing how this situation is definitely having a very, very detrimental effect for for Clive, he's not. I I I feel like he's obviously having to. Um, ha this is a, a really really, um, difficult pill to swallow. But he cares for Dale so much, and he and he wants to make her happy. But 
he is kind of compromising um what he really needs because he doesn't want to he doesn't want to let go of dale really so uh and like i said i feel like we're seeing that definitely um become a very very um uh evident circumstance that clive is going through um yeah i i wouldn't be surprised if they broke things up by the end of the season but like i said we're seeing we're seeing little bits and pieces in terms of the uh differences uh between what uh dale is um i guess you could say open for and what uh clive is open for so yeah but um yeah and then obviously there was that final confrontation with angus and and uh, blaine and it was really really powerful it's been something that has um uh that i feel like coming in with, like with season four and um uh, coming with angus um having this group and whatnot blaine not being in on the know uh it's been a long time coming really uh, i know it's only i know we're on only on episode number six and whatnot but um you got to remember this is like the halfway point of of the season um so they needed to meet as soon as possible and um it was really really intense like especially um the way that angus really got into um blaine's skin because um of the fact that oh i forgive you and then he uh, and then blaine just went off so um but after the shit treatments um obviously not to excuse what blaine has done um to others um in the show but um with angus and how all of that um ill treatment to blaine has really uh, affected blaine um you could understand why um blaine decided to tear him apart so yeah but no it was really really intense stuff um that uh that bit and i i'm, I'm sorry but he does like the clothing that he had on i don't know why it just um i, I mean probably because um it uh the resemblance looks uncanny but just the way he looked like uh the ninth doctor christopher eccleston was so great um and he rocked it really really well so i i was just i was just thinking you know that is basically the ninth doctor's costume and i just i'm just here for it so just a little random thought there um but yeah this is a episode where i feel like um once we come into the final uh, few episodes of the season, uh, there might be some um, that this episode has uh, pretty much laid down uh, potential ramifications that will get explored in the final few episodes. L what with the videotape and whatnot and how Liv feels like what she is doing is, um, you know, going to be for the uh, great good. But in the long run, it's going to have um, some consequences, definitely. And uh, it was very, very interesting stuff uh, all across the board um, with Liv's story, Ravi uh, taking that sacrifice. Um, even the, the um, personal struggles that Clive was going through, they were all really, really superb, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, and uh, I am really excited to explore... Um, further uh potentially how much of a of a crushing blow this is might this might have uh on live uh, especially with the fact that she's been told hey from this list there are 300 people but you can only say three i mean yeah it's 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 um pushing on the thresholds of, of playing god really like who of like out of three people uh, out of 300 people which three um, deserves to survive the most it is it is a very very um yeah it is a very very crushing um scenario to put yourself in so um i'll be excited to s see if that gets explored of course uh in greater depth in these upcoming episodes but no overall pretty pretty neat stuff so i will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and i'll see you guys next time. Toodles!